Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In this video, we'll examine 15 of the top dividend stocks to buy right now. So before we get started, kindly subscribe to our channel and like this video for weekly investing advice. Let's begin. This year's stock market is off to a strong start. There are some encouraging indicators, especially in the 2022 industries that took the biggest hit. Despite this, there is still a lot of economic uncertainty. In its continuous battle against inflation, the Federal Reserve still has work to do. Geopolitical worries continue to pose a significant danger to the markets. The government's debt ceiling may become a point of contention. In light of these unsettling things, investors are looking for high-quality dividend stocks to make money, no matter how the market does in the near future. Despite the current economic uncertainty, the outlook for 2023 is improving for these 15 dividend stocks, all of which yield at least 3%. Let's review our list. Number 15. BP PLC, ticker, BP. BP is one of Europe's largest integrated energy companies. The firm has been a leading player in the oil and gas industry dating back to the early 1900s. In recent years, BP has been one of the quickest movers in transitioning its business model toward more low-carbon energy generation sources. However, management seems to be having some doubts on that front. A recent article in the Wall Street Journal said that BP is going to put less money into green energy. Investors may appreciate that move, as it will allow the company to return more cash to current shareholders. That in turn is good news for dividend investors. BP just announced a 10% increase to its dividend and is also buying back mountains of stock right now. In addition, BP shares are going for just six times forward earnings, making shares a value buy. The company's dividend yield is 3.8%. Number 14. Verizon Communications Incorporated, ticker, VZ. Verizon is one of the three primary US wireless carriers. Income investors have long counted on telecom companies to offer stable, reliable performance. But both Verizon and AT&T Incorporated have disappointed investors in recent years. AT&T cut its dividend after its unsuccessful Time Warner acquisition bid. After a big jump in demand during the pandemic, the telecom industry as a whole has seen its growth slow down. Meanwhile, operating costs stay high because rolling out 5G is expensive and buying wireless spectrum is expensive. The sentiment may be too negative at this point however. Phone service is still an essential good that people will keep paying for even during an economic downturn. Meanwhile, Verizon shares sell for about 8.5 times forward earnings while offering a great yield. The company's dividend yield is 6.4%. Number 13. Toronto Dominion Bank, ticker, TD. Toronto Dominion Bank is one of Canada's largest banks. It has extensive operations in both retail and investment banking, along with a significant franchise in the US. Canadian banks have done better than most other developed country banks in the past because there isn't as much competition there and the rules are easier to follow. Despite the industry's long-term performance, Canadian banking shares fell out of favor in 2022. This came amid fears of a housing market slump. Bears have been predicting a major Canadian housing bust for the past 15 years. One of these years, they may be right, but generally, investors have been well served to stick with the Canadian banks. And TD, in particular, benefits from its broad diversification across geography and business lines. The company's dividend yield is 4.1%. Number 12. International Business Machines Corporation, ticker, IBM. For many years, IBM didn't look like one of the best dividend stocks to buy. After all, newer software and cloud companies were soaring, while IBM appeared to be left behind. The tides turned in 2022. IBM managed to deliver a positive total return last year, even as most tech stocks sold off sharply. What explains the change in sentiment? For one thing, after years of declining revenues, IBM has returned to growth. The firm's bold red hat acquisition has given life to its cloud business. At the same time, investors are now focusing on companies with strong profitability and cash flow generation instead of prioritizing future growth. While IBM is not growing too quickly, it checks the right boxes for investors focused more on current profitability. The stock has some upside if IBM can keep nibbling at the market shares of bigger cloud computing providers. The company's dividend yield is 4.9%. Number 11. Citigroup Incorporated, ticker, C. Citigroup is one of America's largest banks, with operations spanning investment banking, retail operations, and an extensive international footprint. Over the years, the company has had its share of problems, such as operational mistakes and some strategic mistakes. Arguably, 
investors have overly punished Citigroup for this poor reputation. Shares are trading for about 7.6 times forward earnings while selling for just 55% of book value. Citigroup should enjoy rising profitability thanks to the sharp increase in interest rates, which is a tailwind for its retail banking operations. In addition, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated invested heavily in Citigroup shares in 2022. Given Buffett's great reputation with banking stocks, other investors might want to follow his lead. The company's dividend yield is 4%. Number 10. U.S. Bancorp, ticker, USB. U.S. Bancorp is another of America's large banks that have a particular focus on retail consumer banking. Historically, that has been an advantage and has given U.S. Bancorp higher than average profitability metrics. However, U.S. Bancorp has underperformed over the past decade. Its retail-focused banking didn't fare as well in the recent zero-interest rate environment. With interest rates surging, U.S. Bancorp should enjoy a much more favorable outlook going forward. That's especially true as it just closed its acquisition of Union Bank, which it bought from Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group Inc. in December. This expands the bank's footprint across the attractive West Coast market. This growing branch network combined with rising margins on lending should drive out performance going forward. The company's dividend yield is 3.9%. Number 9. Amgen Incorporated, ticker, AMGN. Amgen is a large biotech company with an extensive array of food and drug administration approved drugs. The company has focused on treatments relating to cancer, inflammatory issues, and renal disease, among other conditions. Some of Amgen's best-selling products are getting close to the end of their patent protection period, which is a problem. However, the company has been able to deal with this by buying new products. Its purchase of Onyx Pharmaceuticals added to Amgen's oncology products, and the planned deal with Horizon Therapeutics PLC should make it a stronger player in immune system products. Amgen shares have pulled back from more than $290 in November to close at $240.20 on February 8, 2023. With this decline, shares are now going for just 12.3 times forward earnings while offering a solid dividend. The company's dividend yield is 3.5%. Number 8. Digital Realty Trust Incorporated, ticker, DLR. Digital Realty Trust is a real estate investment trust, or REIT, focused on data centers and communications equipment. Over the years, companies have had a lot more data to store, which has helped digital realty grow a lot. The company faces some risk, as some large tech firms have built their own data centers rather than outsourcing to a third-party owner like Digital Realty. That plus the surge in interest rates has investors more nervous about Digital Realty and other data center owners. However, that is arguably more than priced into Digital Realty shares now, as the stock has pulled back by roughly a third from its all-time high. At this price, the company offers a solid yield and should enjoy a rebound in share price as sentiment picks back up for data centers. The company's dividend yield is 4.3%. Number 7. Avalon Bay Communities Incorporated, ticker, AVB. Avalon Bay Communities is a REIT focused on apartment buildings. The company operates more than 82,000 units and has another 5,000 in its development pipeline. Avalon Bay has concentrated on high-quality markets such as New York, Washington DC and California. Even though rent prices can change a lot from one place to another, Avalon Bay's focus on markets with high income should make operations more stable. Avalon Bay's revenue surged in recent years as rents increased dramatically in many markets. Even so, AVB stock has dropped a lot over the past year as investors worried about rising interest rates and a falling housing market. Those are valid concerns, but rent prices aren't unlikely to dip too much, particularly as demographics continue to suggest that the country has a shortage of housing units in numerous markets. The company's dividend yield is 3.5%. Number 6. Realty Income Corporation, ticker, O. Realty Income has made a name for itself with dividend investors. The company smartly labeled itself the monthly dividend company and has increased its dividend every year for more than 25 years in a row. That not only makes the company a smart buy, but it also proves its stability within the sometimes volatile world of commercial real estate. This stability comes because Realty Income is a triple net lease operator, meaning that its tenants pay for key expenses such as utilities. The recent rise in inflation makes this contractual protection even more important for Realty Income. Higher interest rates and a possible drop in demand for retail real estate could make investors nervous. But given Realty Income's strong track record, investors should give it the benefit of the doubt. The company's dividend yield is 4.4%. Number 5. Tyson Foods Incorporated, ticker, TSN. 
Tyson Foods is a meat-producing consumer staples company. That made for a tough 2022. The price of proteins went up considerably amid last year's inflationary commodity market conditions. Tyson on the other hand was not able to fully pass on these higher prices to consumers because it mostly sells low-margin commodity meat instead of higher value-added branded goods. Amid slumping profit margins, Tyson's stock price sank. However, these cycles in the meat industry are common and pass with time. Tyson's profitability should recover as the economy stabilizes. While earnings are expected to be down sharply in 2023, Tyson is trading at just nine times forward earnings. In addition to the dividend, Tyson shares also offer considerable value on a per share price basis. Morningstar's Aaron Lash sees fair value at $106 per share, versus the stock's closing price of just $59.98 on February 8. The company's dividend yield is 3.1%. Number 4. Stanley Black & Decker Inc. SWK. Stanley Black & Decker is a leading maker of power tools, outdoor machinery, and industrial fasteners. The company enjoyed unprecedented prosperity in 2020 and 2021, as people renovated their homes and improved their gardens during the pandemic. Demand has fallen sharply since then. Power tools are durable goods, meaning that once people purchase equipment, they tend to be set for a while. As such, Stanley Black & Decker faces a considerable lag before earnings return to normal. Over the long term however, profits should return to normal because goods for home repair and maintenance tend to be stable. In the years before 2020, Stanley Black & Decker made an average of about $6.50 per share. Put a modest price earnings ratio of 17 on Stanley Black & Decker's normal earnings, and that gets to a $110.50 stock price, a far cry from its closing price of $87.77 on February 8. The company's dividend yield is 3.7%. Number 3. Clorox Company, Ticker, CLX. Like Stanley Black & Decker, Clorox has had a unique experience over the past couple of years. In 2020, Clorox saw a tremendous surge in sales. Folks stocked up on cleaning supplies for their pantries, while businesses focused on keeping surfaces clean to fight the spread of the pandemic. By mid-2021 however, people were done with their cleaning spree and Clorox sales fell. Add in supply chain issues and rising raw material costs, and Clorox's earnings were far below where they were prior to the pandemic's onset by 2022. Thankfully Clorox is turning a corner. The company recently beat earnings and raised its forward guidance. Analysts now expect Clorox to return to its peak sales level in 2024. As the company picks up steam, shares should rally. Today they still sell for about what they did in 2019. The company's dividend yield is 3.1%. Number 2. Kimberly Clark Corporation, ticker, KMB. Kimberly Clark is another consumer products company that got caught up in the recent economic disruption. The company saw sales of toilet paper and other essential personal care products rise in 2020 and then peter out in 2021. When you add rising wood pulp prices and other signs of inflation, Kimberly Clark's profit growth quickly stopped. However, the company shouldn't have issues over the long term. Toiletries are in consistent demand regardless of economic factors. And Kimberly Clark should see a long-term growth driver in its incontinence products as the population gets older. In the short term, Kimberly Clark's operations are back on the upswing, with recent quarterly results topping expectations for both revenues and profits. The worst of the inflation squeeze seems to have passed, Kimberly Clark's operations are now trending in the right direction. The company's dividend yield is 3.6%. Number 1. Grupo Aeroport Wario del Pacifico Sab de CV, ticker, PAC. Pacific Airport Group, as the name translates, is a Mexican airport operator. It holds concessions for 12 airports in Mexico and two in Jamaica. Concessions for the Mexican airports run through 2048 and include automatic inflation adjustments. Key concessions include the large city of Guadalajara, the industrial hub of Tijuana and various tourist destinations, including Puerto Vallarta and Cabos. The company initially saw a surge in tourist traffic surge in 2021 as Mexico had a more lenient COVID-19 travel policy than most other regional destinations. While analysts expect tourist traffic growth to slow down, Pacifico is now benefiting from reshoring and the surge in Mexican manufacturing activity. To that point, Pacifico reported 33% year-over-year traffic growth for January 2023. The company has a variable dividend policy, and most of the free cash flow it makes in any given year is paid out as dividends. The company's dividend yield is 4%. This concludes our list of the 15 best dividend stocks to buy right now. 
Before putting your hard-earned money into buying stocks or investing in the market, you should always do your research. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting-edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.